Hello everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video where I will be again discussing analytic geometry and trigonometry and primarily be focusing on the distance between points in space. If you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it would really benefit and help my channel out with it being a new channel. I really want to try to influence and assist as many people as possible regarding mathematics, engineering, as well as just the STEM industry and field. So, if any encouragement is greatly appreciated. So let's get right into an example problem because I think that's the best way to kind of show how these formulas and these concepts are applied in the real world scenarios. So we're asked to find the distance between point P, which is at the coordinate system 1, comma, negative 3, comma, 5, and point Q, which is at negative 3, comma, 4, comma, negative 2. Now pause the video here if you'd like to attempt to solve this problem on your own. So before I go to the solutions. And we're given four options to choose from. A being the square root of 10, B being the square root of 14, C being the value of eight, and lastly, D being the square root of 114. So for starters, let's write down our knowns. So at point P, we're given the coordinate system in three dimension, which is one comma negative three comma five. So let's break it down on which X, what X1, Y1, and Z1 equals. And let's do the same thing for point Q, with that being negative 3, comma 4, comma negative 2. Now with us knowing what all the x, y, and z values are, we can simply utilize the distance between two point equation and substitute the values in. It's important to make sure that your signs are being carried over to make sure that you are not having any issues. For example, when you are looking at the y2 minus y1, that negative 3 has to be taken into consideration because that's actually going to end up being 4 plus 7. So with you plugging in the values, you simply just simplify and simplify and simplify until you can't anymore. And you could eventually even get this into a further decimal point if you like by doing the square root of 114, but um, typical scenarios will allow you to stop there based on what the problem is asking you. So if you got the answer to be square root of 114, you would be correct with the answer being D. So my videos are pretty short and sweet and kind of just introducing the concepts behind it all. Um, I can go further into detail if you guys would wish, but I like to kind of just skim the surface to introduce the concepts. And if you're kind of preparing for an exam or just trying to refresh your memory on a certain concept you remember in math class before taking a quiz, a nice five minute video would do the trick, I think. So make sure to leave a comment, like, or subscribe. It would really help my channel out. And thanks guys, have a great day. See ya.